The Seventh Day Sabbath In six days God created the heavens, earth, every living thing, including man. God completed His work on the sixth day, and He saw that it was very good. On the seventh day, the Sabbath, God ended His creation work and 1. Rested on the seventh day 2. Blessed the seventh day 3. Sanctified the seventh day God saw that the Sabbath was essential to man. God determined that we needed to lay aside our own interests and pursuits for one day of the seven that we might more fully contemplate the works of God and meditate upon His power and goodness. We needed a Sabbath to be reminded more vividly of God and to awaken gratitude because all that we enjoy and possess comes from the hand of the Creator. God confirmed the seventh day Sabbath. It is the fourth of the Ten Commandments. Remember the Sabbath day to keep it holy. Six days you shall labor and do all your work, but the seventh day is the Sabbath of the Lord your God. In it you shall do no work, you, nor your son, nor your daughter, nor your male servant, nor your female servant, nor your cattle, nor your stranger who is within your gates. For in six days the Lord made the heavens and the earth, the sea, and all that is in them, and rested the seventh day. Therefore the Lord blessed the Sabbath day and hallowed it. The fourth commandment is the only one of all ten in which are found both the name and the title of the lawgiver. It is the only one that shows by whose authority the law is given. It contains the seal of God, affixed to His law as evidence of its authenticity and binding force. The Sabbath is a sign between God and His people. Sabbath Top 10 1. The Sabbath is a sign of sanctification, set apart as holy. 2. Israel kept the Sabbath before Sinai. 3. Set aside weekday pleasures and pursuits. 4. Focus on doing good for others. 5. God made Sabbath for man, not man for the Sabbath. 6. Jesus himself kept the Sabbath. 7. Jesus taught that Sabbath keeping includes works of compassion and helping fellow man. 8. Apostles, Jews, and non-Jews kept the Sabbath. 9. Sabbath celebrated from evening to evening. Friday is the preparation day just before the Sabbath. 10. Sabbath will be kept in the new earth, heaven. The Sabbath encompasses our entire relationship with God. It is an indication of God's action on our behalf in the past, present, and future. The Sabbath protects man's friendship with God and provides the time essential for the development of that relationship. The Sabbath clarifies the relationship between God and the human family, for it points to God as Creator at a time when human beings would like to usurp God's position in the universe. In this age of materialism, the Sabbath points men and women to the spiritual and to the personal. The consequences for forgetting the Sabbath day to keep it holy are serious. It will lead to the distortion and eventual destruction of a person's relationship with God. When the Sabbath is kept, it is a witness to the rest that comes from trusting God alone as our sustainer, as the basis of our salvation, and as the ground of our hope in the future. As such, the Sabbath is a delight because we have entered God's rest and have accepted the invitation to fellowship with Him. When God asks us to remember the Sabbath day, He does so because He wants us to remember Him. For more information on the Sabbath, www.rememberseventhday.org www.secondcoming.org YouTube Second Coming 
www.thepeopleshow.org.